And then I decided to fail. So yeah. Well, I don't think you decided to do oh my god. Oh, well this is good. Anyway, goodbye Nick. <laughs> this so Bishop Fortress is here. Uh that's that's a big deal, but let's let's go through the motions here. This game. <laughs> <laughs> uh Oracle Rabble are attacks. These are top deck attacks, so uh they, they don't counter Bishop Fortress. Uh there's also scrying pool for draw so you can like you can increase, you can, there's support for it is what I'm trying to say. How many you're supposed to have both of them. You get one or two or three scrying pools and you draw your whole deck and then you can bishop like a fortress a million times, yeah. So fortress is going to be the key card because that, that's going to determine how many, um, that's going to determine how many bishops you can play. That's, that's really the limiting factor. Oh, yeah, got to do this, sorry. Uh, how do I race fortresses? Develop? No. I want I want to get a scrying pool, but that really can wait. Quarry. I'm gonna open what quarry courtyard. Fortress courtyard. He should be giving me free trashing with bishop, and then I can just lap up the fortresses, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, but uh, fortresses, uh, you just got to get fortresses. Yeah, and then go for bishop fortress with scrying pool support. Uh, I'll pick up the, the stuff later for that. Yep, that's a plan. This draw sucks. Do I get another courtyard? Sure, it's probably better than nothing. Ooh, I just noticed that my f opening buys were the uh, bottom two cards in my shuffle. Because I'm amazing. Play a village, draw a village, play a village, draw a village. Well, this sucks. I'm not going to be able to pick up the last fortress. That's actually really bad because the fortress split is even. What do I do here? Probably top deck courtyard so I can kick off next turn, and I guess I need a silver. This is pretty bad, though. Purple is tempting, for sure. Now I just need to get all the bishops. How much bishops? Play. All of them. Play. 
and then if I'm not drawing enough slash need more actions, which will happen, I will get the scrying pool. I can only, by the way, I can only trash one more copper, two more coppers, that's what's anyway. Supposed to happen, right? Oh, I'm so good at this game. thinking I should do it yeah thinking is a good thing to do I can draw stuff and this five dollar card I get is not going to matter but that has the potential to be useful What I really want to do here is get cute with a develop, but I, I want to buy a bishop this turn. I can gain a bishop by trashing the silver. I'm a little worried that's going to nerf my economy. I should just I should just do this and get another bishop. Two, three, four, five. I have five fortresses, which means I can support five bishops. I need to get five bishops. Yeah, I don't think your rob was ever going to hit anything. Mm. Never going to put a green card in the stack. I I didn't get it for that purpose. Yeah, it's a draw three, I guess. <clears throat> I need to draw that last bishop, don't I? But I don't have the action to play it. Uh, well, we got to do this, right? And hope that we draw a bishop next to get that Washington dollar, which we totally purchase. did. Missed that opportunity. Yep, there we go. Boom. Uh, and I can seed next turn. If Are I you want. Are seeding next turn? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, because I gained that because I'm so good at this game. So I'm not getting any more bishops, and that's not good. <sighs> this is the end of the line for draw. No, it's not, because I need to draw more fortresses.
whatever, I'm going to draw whatever it is anyway. Or I'm not, because I'm an idiot. Uh, well, I guess I can develop this rabble. I only got four bishops, or did I get five? It would be really bad if I got... I think that means I only got four bishops. I'm just totally screwed here. Oh, man. This is so bad. I don't really... I don't know what I did wrong. Played badly, that's what I did wrong. Having fun? It's easier to click the fortress than to click no. <laughs> it's uh, more pixels, yeah? Do I really have a chance at winning this? I mean, he could clog his deck with enough courtyards okay. that uh, I might actually be able to come back here. Okay. I don't really like my chances with only four bishops. He's not playing four bishops per turn. I can empty a courtyard. I can empty the courtyard pile better than he can because I have scrying pool and he's not going for it. So really my only chance of winning this is if he just blatantly misplays and, and ignores like what's really happening here. I don't... What? How is this game going to end? I guess on courtyards. Uh, well, I guess I need to play this one courtyard, don't I? I don't think I'm playing I? it right, but... <clears throat> I just like dump there. It's... I wish I wasn't buying them. <laughs> Fortress. Bigger target. Ooh. I mean, if I can keep this up... I'll be able to consistently get the points per turn. <laughs> Granted, it's mm -hmm. like the same as he can get. He trashed two bishops. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I thought I was doing well, but now you're getting ahead of me. So maybe, maybe I can benefit from his lack of focus here. I'll continue to pick up scrying pools. I wanna. Uh, I don't think I want any more courtyards in my deck if I can help it. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. Come on, deck. That was exactly what I wanted to see. Thank you, deck. You're the best. That's what we like. 
So I just need to trash fortresses here, yeah? Uh, we can seed next hand with uh, Scrying Pool, which is good. Am I going to hold my lead for three more turns? <laughs> I need to just score maximum points here. Problem is, he does have the initiative on points, and but he does have the potential to stall, score less points than maximum. So, I mean, I'm technically not dead. I will trash potion next turn. just to get it out of my deck. It's one less thing for my Scrying Pool to trip on. And I can start hand with a uh, Scrying Pool, so I, I actually don't need to buy stuff anymore. I, got, I actually will get a garden, maybe, <laughs> if it matters. So yeah, I should, I should continue to buy stuff. Now the problem he does run into is that um, if he leaves one courtyard left and doesn't score enough points on his turn, I can buy it, potentially with a lead. So uh, I probably should get a Gardens this turn, I think. Come on, give me another Scrying Pool. There we go, good deck, you're the best. Now, I have to get Gardens here, yeah? That means he can't buy Courtyard, because I, even then, then if he scores max points on his turn, I'll still win from the Gardens kicker, yeah? Uh, nope, this is yours. Gardens is going to be worth more than Estate, guaranteed. I mean, I'm not going to trash any of these cards, and I have 10, 12. Yeah. So, yeah, Gardens is, is the thing. It's not that I don't want to talk to you, Nick. It's just that the only reason I have a chance is because you're misplaying, and I can't let you know how. Okay, so um, Courtyard there is basically conceding. If he doesn't get that, he can actually hold out for a really long time, not scoring max points per turn. So I'm very glad he did that. Anyway, since I have the win now, I can unmute you. You mean undeafen me? Undeafen you. My apologies. I had no business winning that game. I had no business winning that game. Oh, manzies. <laughs> what did I do that was so bad? Well, um, 
buying the courtyards I don't, I don't think was the best thing in the world for you 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 trashed two bishops if you had left one of them you could have potentially played five bishops per turn to my four I only got five fortresses and I only got four bishops so you could have had higher points per turn than me in which case that would have been it I would have had no chance of coming back <laughs> Ken likes your score 69. <laughs> oh, man. There was just a little... I don't know. Because with Scrying Pool as draw, you can play more than just the standard four bishops in a turn from Bishop Fortress. Which is what you ended up doing. I had to. I mean, I couldn't be relying on Courtyard for draw and... Well, I mean, if I was never going to get any higher, I could have done that, but then I would have had no endgame flexibility. I just looked at the piles when I had the lead, and I was like, well, what's the fastest way to end the game? It looked like the courtyards, so I was like, well, I guess I'll go with those. Yeah. I, I would have I just resigned if you had <laughs> kept your golden deck. It would have been an indefinite game state. I would have just resigned. But anyway, uh, let's oh. let's play more Dominion. I guess I shouldn't have been thinking about ending it. I should have just been thinking about just keeping it going. I suppose. I, I don't have the right mindset for that particular combo. 